This is a model. And I set up in my backyard. And as you can see, you come around here. This side here is our 1212. This over here is our 512. This way you can stand right here on the ground and practice with your square. All right, you can see we have our 1212 dying into our main roof line. If you come over here, you'll see your jacks. And there again in your book, you'll have a, a mount that you subtract from each one so that you can cut them on the ground. This is a good way to learn how to how to set up and cut these things. Got a dog over here that's trying to help me out. We have our where we come up to our ridge line. All different ways that you can set up and use your your speed square. This is the easiest way that I've found. So you can see where we come down and do our corners. Same way on this side. Got our corners built. Got our jacks. Come in here with our jacks. There's just so much that you can do to lay out to learn how to use your square without a whole lot of problems once you start on your main roofs. Well, I want to wish you good luck on this. If you look at the numbers that are represented on the square, like your five, your common rafter per foot length is 13 inches per foot. Your hip valley, 17.69, which you might as well just say 17 and three quarters. And then these others, which is difference in length of jacks, you subtract 17 and 5 sixteenths for each one. Or if you're on 24 inch centers, you subtract 16 inches for each one that you put in. That's what these numbers represent, just like your 12. 12 pitch roof, 16 inches per foot run, per foot straight run. 20 and 7 eighths, might as well just say 20 and 3 quarters. The difference in length, the amount that you subtract from each jack rafter for your hip or valley, is 22 and 5 eighths of an inch. The same thing with well, the 24 inch centers, 33 and 15 sixteenths. That is, others represent like 20 and 7 eighths. That means 20.78 hundredths. So it should be 20 and 3 quarters of a foot. The 16.97, you might as well just say 17 inches.